What's going on, football world? It's Carter with X's and O's, and on this video, I'm going to be discussing an offensive numbering system that a coach can use to communicate pass patterns uh, from a basic passing tree to his players on the field. As you can see, I have a pre-drawn offensive formation, an ace-type formation. I don't have this formation drawn up for any specific reason other than the fact that it's a nice balanced formation that we can use for the purpose of this video. This formation or this system utilizes a even and a odd numbering system. And so I'm going to on this left side, I'm going to start off by talking about the even the even numbers and the rules that apply to that. So, even numbers basically means that all patterns are going to break All patterns are going to break to the middle. So that is the uh, basically the rule for the for the even numbers that you're going to want to teach to anybody that's going to go out for a pass pattern. The first even number pass route I would like to discuss is the zero route which I refer to as a smoke route. So I refer to that as a smoke route and a smoke route is one hard step, one hard step up the football field then the receiver is going to simply look inside. So then I'm just going to write here then look inside. look inside to the middle so that's the smoke route and basically with the uh, with the smoke route what you're trying to do is get that D back on his heels maybe get him into his back pedal a little bit stop on a dime come back to the middle and uh, we want to get that ball onto the perimeter as fast as possible so the smoke route you know this receiver might do some type of quick move come back look inside and there is your there's your zero route like so alright the next even number will be a two route and the two route is a slant or a quick slant I like to run my my slants right at those linebackers or right in front of those linebackers and so I have my my uh, receivers run their routes and break them off anywhere between two and three yards depending on how fast they are and how good my quarterback's footwork is so I'm just gonna put two to three yards but they cannot go I guess there I should say their maximum depth will be uh, five yards so they're gonna you know depending again on the footwork and the timing we're gonna press this up the field hard for about two yards and then we're gonna slant inside right at those linebackers those backers or maybe a walked up safety but we're not going to get beyond a depth of five yards so that is a two route or a slant quick slant the next uh, even number would be a four and a four is referred to as an N and an N is going to break off at ten yards now your depths can change depending on how fast your kids are you know the the higher levels when we get into college in the in the pros those guys get a lot faster and so they can get to to greater depths faster or or get vertical much faster and so the yardage might get a little bit more for youth football for high school football um, players are obviously slower and so we got to bring the yards down a little bit. So 10 yards is always a good a good gauge uh, for some of these routes. But um, some of them, like I have on the slant, where there's a little bit of a, a, a wiggle room, two to three yards. Um, here in the next route, you'll see I'll put 10 to 12. So that's something you're going to want to play with. And every you know, depending on the talent level or the ability level of your players, you can play with that a little bit. But on a in, we're going to press the foot. We're going to press hard up the football field and at 10 yards, break inside like so on an in. 
and run across that line and that is a four a six be the next even number a six is referred to as a curl and uh, the reason why a lot of people like to refer to this as a curl is because the the backers um, in particular the outside backers in a cover two um, but cover threes basically any zone coverage they have this area called the curl and it's it's anywhere between 10 uh, and 15 yards 10 to 15 yards and it's uh, inside of the numbers and outside of the hashes and so this curl area is right in here and so that's the area we want to attack with this with this pattern or this route I should say and we're going to break that off anywhere between 10 and 12 yards and attack that curl that curl area so we're going to press up the football field when we get to a depth of uh, 12 yards here we're going to come back work back to 10 and get about one yard inside of the uh, the numbers there and that is our six route like so clean that number up a little bit that's our six route like so the next one we have is an eight route and the eight route is one of my favorites and uh, that is the post and um, if we talk about the goal post the goal post sits right there in the middle of the field if that was the touchdown and so that's where we want to run with this route so we're going to press up the football field we're going to press up the football field to about 12 yards let me go ahead and put that there 10 to 12 yards you might want to put 12 to 15 this is just a basic template um, for you to build off of like I said you can you can adjust the depth but uh, you're gonna press up the football field this is more like 13 yards it looks like and then uh, we're just gonna work towards that post that I just drew up and uh, that would be your eight route like so so as you can see all of your even numbers are breaking to the middle of the football field just like we have here in the rule even numbers break to the middle let's look at the other side and look at our odd numbers I'm gonna put odd in white odd numbers will break to the sideline let's see if I can put sideline in here so odd numbers will break out to the sideline all right let's look at a one route a one route I like to refer to as a flat route and uh, basically what's going to happen is this is going to press to four yards and then run parallel so I'm going to just put four yards then parallel okay like so and so if the Z was running a flat route he's gonna press up the football field to about four yards and then run parallel to the line of scrimmage like so there we have our one route our three route is going to be an out so just like we have it in on the other side we're gonna have an out on this side and the out is going to break at 10 yards or somewhere thereabouts 10 yards and so uh, the Z would press up the football field and then at 10 break it out to the sideline so there's our three our five route is going to look like a mirror image of the curl we're going to refer to this as the comeback the comeback is going to break off 
anywhere between 10 and 12 yards. And so I'm going to work, press up the football field to 12 yards and then work to the to get outside of the number to one yard outside of the number and maybe back to 10 yards and that is our five route or our comeback next odd number is a seven and the seven is a post corner so we're gonna fake the post we're gonna we're gonna fake that we're going into the post but then we're gonna run back out to the corner some people like to call this a flag again this is gonna be 10 to 12 yards okay 10 to 12 yards and so we're gonna press up the football field to 12 yards break break to the post maybe to 13 or 14 yards and then we're gonna break right back out and run to the flag or the pylon and that's our seven route you want your post and your post corner to to look very similar so that the uh, the defensive backs or the secondary isn't the wiser and uh, if you get their hips to turn you pretty much have them beat and if your quarterback can drop the ball in there you know that's a, that's a tough route to stop so that's your post corner and then the final odd number is a nine and this is kind of the rule breaker because it doesn't really go to the outside or or towards the sideline but um, it's a route everybody wants to have in their arsenal and it's the go route and so you just keep pressing up the football field and we're going to try to knock the top off of the uh, off of the defense off of the defensive secondary so there's our odd numbers and nine's kind of the rule breaker um, let's go ahead and look at the odd numbers as if we as if the X were running it so just to show you how the rule stays the same so if X was running a, a one route or a flat route, he's going to press up the field, get to four yards, and then run parallel with the line of scrimmage. There's our one route. Our three route is an out. So he's going to get to 10 and run out. There's our three or our out route. Our five is a mirror image of a curl. We call it the comeback. Press to 10 to 12 yards, work back to 10, one yard outside of the numbers. That's our five route. The seven, the post corner. We're going to sell the post. Like you can see, I'm going to just drop parallel along the eight. We're going to sell the post to anywhere between 13, 14 yards. And then we are going to, going to uh, plant hard and run back out towards the flag or the pylon or the corner and there's our our seven route and then like we said on the other side if we want to knock the top off the defense we're just going to keep pressing up the football field and run the nine route so there's a complete passing tree on the left side let's do the same thing for the right side again our smoke route our zero route hard step up the field get that D back on his heels come back look inside there's the zero the slant we want to press hard for about two to three yards and then attack those linebackers maybe a, a walked up safety there's our two our two or our slant our four we want to press hard to ten yards and then run down that stripe on the end and there's our four the six is the curl press hard to 12 yards work back inside to the middle of the football field a yard inside of the number back to 10 yards attack that curl area there's our six and then we want to put our eight in there which is our post so again we want to press up and you can see we have our our seven our post corner there so I'm going to draw a parallel line along that seven 
and we're just going to press the post into the middle of the football field and there's our eight so as you can see mirror image uh, of one another all the greens all the green lines go to the middle just like we spoke about on uh, on the rule down here even numbers break to the middle all the white lines break out with nine being the exception and just like we have in the rule here odd numbers break to the sideline as you can see all white lines break to the sideline with the ex exception of the go route which is the number the number nine route so um, and then and then you just you call out these numbers to your players and and uh, and any type of other system you want to use as far as I've seen coaches just call out three numbers it could be like um, um, 112 tailback fly or or you know there's different ways you can you can uh, communicate to your players but you just plug these numbers into the system that you like you teach them the passing tree and it's a great way to communicate the uh, the pass patterns you want to run off of the pass the passing tree that you see in front of you here so this has been a video talking about the offensive numbering system um, and, and specifically as it relates to this basic passing tree there are many other passing trees out there so this isn't this isn't the bible of passing trees this is just one that that works for me and that I have used in the past and, and I have learned off of in the past like I said you can actually flip-flop the even and the odd numbers to where the, the odd numbers are, are going towards the middle and the even numbers are going to the outside. So you can play with it. Just a basic template. Um, hope it's added to your knowledge of the game of football, whether you are a player, a coach, or a fan. If you'd like to see a video topic or have questions, leave comments in the comment section or email me at xsandos.cs at gmail.com. Uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And there will be more videos to come.